<laughs> ah! But you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. Right now, I need another gun. Why, what's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Let's hit the breeze, boys. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a mental breakthrough from the East, the result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. I'm just changing the past. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel mouthed bunko artist I've never met. Look at them vultures circling up ahead. Might just be a dead critter. Marson, take a look. Eli, you too. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. Good Marshal! More vultures! We best take a look, boys. Man, poor dead body. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on! Their trail leads to Ridgewood Farm. Come on, let's hurry! Sons of bitch! This you want to run a gang of outlaws, Marsden? Come on! Come on! Slow down! Place looks deserted. Where is everyone? Split up and search the area. John, you check the buildings in the barn. Nobody's in the shed.
No one here! Let's go! That ain't right. No one would board up a barn like this. Break that door down. The rest of you, get your guns ready. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> Make a break for the shed when the coast is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. Who's out there? There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. They did unspeakable thing to me. Just a little something for my troubles. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You folk eat men. You ain't nothing. You're just some men on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bush gets $50. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives, people's homes. <laughs> Gotta get after those bandits! Hurry, boys! Let's get after them! Yeah! Wash your face with waves in any way, Marston! 
Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run the gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about to play. Who's that up there? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> You know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! John Marston, gentlemen. I'm afraid you're dead. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Come on. 